Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. And as you can see, I'm Chris Holman. This is Nicole Noel Williams, and we are broadcasting from the Capital Region International Airport. You're home. I am. Great to be here. Great to see you. And you just got back from enjoying um, one of our Apple Vacations charters. Yeah, one of your uh, Velo Airlines uh, carriers, who's doing the Apple this time around, took yeah. us to uh, Cancun, and it, it was sunnier there. <laughs> Yeah, we've, um, gosh, this is um, one of our peak years for the amount of frequency that we have for international service. So Cancun, Punta Cana, Montego Bay, we only have um, another week or so left, uh, and then we wrap up our season and we'll start looking at what's ne um, coming on board for next year. You know, and and I got to tell you, the, these, these vacation packages, it's the way to go, and especially if you have children. Yeah. Uh, because you're not, you know, you can keep track of your children that way and you don't have to worry about baggage and that sort of thing. Yeah, so. the all-inclusive, being able to get picked up at the airport yeah. and then they take you right to your resort. And there's so much to do at many of these all-inclusive properties that you really don't need to leave the property. And you are able to kind of fit the bill for everybody in the family. And whether it's just sitting underneath a, a palm tree for an entire week <laughs> or maybe it's you want to get involved in a lot of fun and activities those types of things are available. So yeah. um, a lot of great options for folks that are interested. Make sure you contact a local travel agent. They are um, really a great access and resource to know more about Apple and the destinations, as well as the properties and what would really fit your family. Well, and you know what I noticed? They got a lot of stuff to us, information on what to expect on your flight. Here's what will happen here. The only thing they didn't do is drop breadcrumbs. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, they really, uh, the, the goal is from, from the travel agent being involved and the information that's being distributed to you, that as soon as you arrive to the Lansing Airport, you should just really look at this as being the start of your vacation. Yeah. And uh, that's what, whether you're traveling for business or for leisure, we want folks, as soon as they park their car, they can kind of take a deep breath and go, okay, what's next on my list? Yeah. What do I got to do? Yeah. And um, be it able is. to enjoy it. It's unbelievable. And along those lines, by the way, we had a pretty major announcement here recently. We did. Um, Breeze Airways um, announced new service out of Lansing. It'll start in October, and it'll be nonstop flights to Orlando International Airport and to Fort Myers. So this region's been wanting Fort Myers for a long time, and I know we've come close to getting some service in and out of here, but we're excited. October 2nd will be the start of the Breeze service out of the Lansing Airport nonstop. So um, we're really pumped that we've got this partnership. And they also kind of teased that there's other destinations and opportunities that are available. So coming around the corner. So biggest thing, we got to fill these planes um, for folks that haven't booked yet. Um, hit uh, flybreeze.com. So flybreeze.com. And that's where you can go get details and information about booking. One of the unique things about Breeze is the fact that there's actually a multi aircraft seating option. So when you think if you're flying on a legacy carrier like a Delta or American um, type service, you may have a first class, a business class, a kind of your economy. Comfort. Yeah. 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 So you have those options. Those options are available on Breeze. And you don't normally see that on a kind of a low cost carrier providing nonstop service yeah. to destinations. And Breeze offers that. So for folks that really want that extra leg room, want to be able to relax a little bit more, there's seating options that are available when you go in and start looking at uh, making your reservation. That is pretty unique, especially for, like you said, a low cost carrier. And services available on the aircraft. Yeah. So a cocktail, a snack, those types types of things are available um, depending on where you sit on the airplane. Yeah. So make sure you look at the options and we're asking folks to fly Lansing first. So check those check those flights on Breeze. Yeah, and do that because I have found a, a lot of times if I'm going to a, a destination connection in Detroit, if I drove to Detroit and took that same flight I'm connecting to, it would be more expensive mm -hmm. than flying out of Lansing. So you really have to just go online. Right. I mean, when you start thinking about the time and then the cost for the additional parking out of Detroit, um, when there's options available right here out of non nonstop out of Lansing, then that's what we're asking folks to do. You know, the flight to days might not match what you really need, but we want folks to look and uh, see whatever we can do to, to support this carrier. So that way we can see other destinations come to our market. Yeah, that's where travel agents come in, too. They watch those prices go up and down and when to buy. They do. Cetera, they do. So. They've been they've been great partners with the Lansing Airport, and um, but there's really that ease of working with them or going direct to um, yep. flybreeze.com, yep. both directions. Absolutely. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about um, some grants, et cetera, 
And, and I want to posture this by saying this is not a, a thumbing our nose at anyone. We got money. Uh, this is, if the government wasn't giving you the money, they would think you were a bad ROI or a bad bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So obviously they're looking for progress here. Yeah, and we've been able to, you know what, I've been back for, what, two and a half years, and we've had multiple projects that we've been awarded grants, um, whether it be competitive grants or congressionally directed spending dollars on projects that really focus on infrastructure. And that's what really has been the intention on dollars that have been coming out of the the feds or on the state side. And so we've seen the expansion for a cargo ramp space, looking at UPS and their central location in the state of Michigan and us being a hub for them. How do we help make sure that we're able to support growth and future opportunities? We've got to have the space to make it available for aircrafts to park. And that's one of those great projects we were able to kick off. We've got land development projects that we're bringing utilities into, into an area for future manufacturing and opportunities, but we also have the land uh, or another project with roads improving the airport boulevard and Port Lansing Road. So we're under design this year and we will start construction in 25. So we'll keep folks aware of some of those improvements and changes to come. And, and I might say you've done a nice job of including the community. So Nicole Noel Williams, President and CEO of the Capital Region International Airport. Thanks for joining us and the great work you're doing. Thank you. Good to be with you. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.